If someone claims you said something and you don't deny it, have you admitted that you made the statement? The Fifth Circuit explored this question in Southern Stone Company v. Singer. Thomas Moore, Susan Singer, and Sam Singer owned s and a business that purchased limestone from wholesaler Southern Stone. s and went out of business and Southern Stone obtained a judgment against it for unpaid purchases. A year later, Moore visited Southern Stone's office about a matter involving Moore's new company. Southern Stone's attorney sent Moore a letter claiming that, during the visit, Moore had admitted that he and the Singers used s and to buy limestone from Southern Stone fraudulently without intending to pay. The letter asked Moore to respond if it represented Moore's statements incorrectly. Moore never responded. Southern Stone sued Moore and the Singers, claiming they had to personally pay the judgment against s and because they had used the company fraudulently. Southern Stone presented the letter with Moore's alleged fraud admission and argued that Moore's failure to deny the statement meant that he'd confirmed it was true. Moore objected that the letter was hearsay and claimed that he hadn't responded because s and was gone and the letter wasn't relevant to his current business dealings. The trial court admitted the letter as evidence. Moore testified that he couldn't remember the conversation in the letter. The attorney who wrote the letter was present, representing Southern Stone, but Moore never called him to the stand. The jury found Moore and Sam Singer liable, impliedly determining that they had used s and to defraud Southern Stone. Moore and Sam appealed to the Fifth Circuit.